An empty car park at East Hampshire District Council about to be transformed. A site we're becoming increasingly familiar with right across the country as the military use their skills to get tests done quickly and efficiently. Here, though, a difference. For the first time, Royal Navy sailors are running the testing facility. Yeah, we've only just been doing this a week, but we got received great training from the Irish Guards over a like, period of two days. Uh, my team have picked up to it really well. And as you can see behind me, my team are working pretty smoothly. They all know the job roles. They all fit in. We all work well with each other, regardless of rank, rate, whatever. We all get on as a team. The sailors, and there are 60 working across seven teams, are all from HMS Prince of Wales, which is currently undergoing a maintenance phase in Portsmouth Naval Base. Real honour and privilege for the first time the Navy's got involved with anything to come out myself only been in a year to come out and actually experience this sort of life. All set up, a queue has quickly formed. The first person they meet is engineering technician Stephen James. What will happen now is one of our colleagues over there, they'll guide you into a parking spot and then you're free to do your testers. First key point is not to sound like a robot or just try and be more humanly, shall we say. So basically I introduce myself with my name, and then I just go through the test examples with them, what's going to be in their test and what to do next, basically. Just basically being a kind face for them to see as soon as they get here, instead of cyborgs. <laughs> it can be understandably daunting to be tested. The sailors have tried their hardest to make it as easy to go through as possible. So here we have uh, a, basically everything that's included in the test kits. Uh, what we like to do is demonstrate to, to people as they, uh, as they drive up what's exactly included and what they need um, what they need to do. There's step-by-step -step instructions in there, but sometimes actually when you have it all spread across and you can get a real sight of what's in there, it just eases that anxiety a, a whole lot more. Naval Airman Aircraft Handler Michael Paul is working at the other end of the testing cycle, collecting completed tests and getting them ready to be dispatched to the laboratory. It's something completely different from what you're normally used to, like on ship, I normally do in firefighting, doing um, Moving aircraft on deck, if anything goes wrong, I'm there to basically help out the firefighting side. So a completely different to what I normally do, but it's nice to actually help the community out. And the Petersfield community in East Hampshire certainly appreciate their help. They've got the expertise and the organisational sort of techniques that are probably needed for this sort of stuff. Well, it's good that the Navy's, that's what they're there for, helping, helping the population. I mean, it's good that everyone's playing a part in helping out. Two of our family made use of it yesterday. <laughs> really efficient, really quick. And they got the results today, so that was brilliant. And they're negative, so that's good. <laughs> Back at the council car park, the cars keep rolling through. The team here, along with the others from HMS Prince of Wales, will continue their testing duties for the days to come, as long as there's a need. And if that need grows, there's even the possibility that more teams could be dispatched from the aircraft carrier. And the ship's company would have no problem with that. Being out testing has brought them closer together. Before doing this MACA tasking, I didn't know any of these, these sailors, but now we all get on, we all, we all know each other. Like, it's just good to have that, that knowledge of who people are as well. There's a lot of uh, people here from different branches who don't normally see around the ship, but it's nice to actually be able to mix other people from around the ship and actually get to know people a lot more. So the senior service is helping the communities around their Portsmouth naval base, showing their versatility and desire to help their own. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe.